guys, welcome back to another episode of Jess in Progress. In today's lifestyle discussion, I'm gonna be answering a question from a 22 year old woman who recently found out that her own parents are swingers. She's not exactly sure what to do with this information, so let's see if we can help her out today, okay? So if you're ready, stick with me and let's have some fun. Okay, you guys, so this question came in from Cora and it was very simply stated. She said, my parents are swingers. How can I accept this? Very blunt and to the point. I like this question. <laughs> Not a lot of reading for me, okay? All right, you guys, so first I'm gonna go ahead and take a look at what the community had to say on this one before I go ahead and answer this question from a parent's standpoint myself. So let's get into it. Okay, so this very first answer was probably the most helpful one out of the community answers. Some of them may surprise you. So here is what the first female had to say to this question. She said, As long as they love you and care for you and are not abusive to you in any way, it doesn't matter. Whether you think it's appropriate or not, what they do is not up to you. They are individual adults with rights to do what they want in life. Happy parents, happy life. You can only control your actions. It's okay to feel what you feel. Write your feelings in a journal without judgment. It's okay to feel uncomfortable. Maybe have a talk with your parents if you're ready. Okay, so this answer was by far the most helpful out of the community answers. And I think it came from a place of experience and maturity, understanding that as individuals in life, we all get to make our own decisions. Okay, so let's see what the next person said. Okay, so this guy said, in this world, many, many, many people are swingers. Just ignore your parents and enjoy your life. This is not a big problem. Okay, I do understand what he's saying here, but at the same time, I feel like if somebody has feelings surrounding an issue, the least we could do is not reduce their feelings into nothing. To tell them it's not a problem, I think, is unproductive. I mean, what's a problem to me may not be a problem to you, and so on, vice versa. Um, I think that it's worth answering this question for sure, okay? The next answer was a woman, and all that she said was, by not accepting it. This woman actually gave this young lady the advice to just not accept it. Okay, so what would you like her to do? Just be angry at her parents, not accept it, tell them they're wrong and they should stop what they're doing? <laughs> That's ridiculous. That's absolutely ridiculous. Now, if they were doing something illegal or something that is harming this 22-year-old woman who's asking the question, then absolutely don't accept it. Don't accept abuse emotionally, verbally, physically, mentally, in any kind of way but to tell them just not to accept it. You want them to go on and be angry with their life? I don't think that's a productive answer in any way, and I'm just gonna say that right out. That's not productive here. They, they're they asking specifically how to accept it. Clearly what they want to do is accept it. They just need guidance in how to do that. So let's not tell them, just don't accept it, because there's nothing productive about that, okay? And the final community member who answered this question was a male, and he said, it is not yours to accept. It is their love life. There's absolutely nothing wrong with being a swinger and nothing wrong with not being a swinger. It is between the parents involved. Okay, I do see what he's saying here. He's basically saying kind of the old school, stay out of your parents' business. <laughs> but he did throw in the fact that there's nothing wrong with being a swinger and there's nothing wrong with not being a swinger. I agree. I absolutely agree. Live your life as you choose. If you want to be a swinger, be a swinger. If you don't want to be a swinger, don't be a swinger. But I think we can help her out here a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and share with you what I think on this topic as a parent myself. Who who knows? One day I may have to have this discussion. I mean, I'm putting my business right out here on YouTube. Okay, so here is what I think as a very open-minded parent, okay? Okay. First of all, if you feel for some reason you've been lied to or that your parents have been living a double life, first off, understand that that is not the case at all. All parents have a sex life that they don't talk to their kids about. It's not a double life or lying to you situation, okay? Understand that your parents 
absolutely love you and you finding this out did not change their love or relationship with you at all. As a matter of fact, I'm willing to bet that your parents have put you first for a very long time and put their interests and individuality on the back burner to make sure that you grew up to be a healthy and happy individual. Okay, so now I'm gonna ask you to take a second and think about all of the things that you've already had to accept in your short 22 year long life, okay? All right guys, just go on this journey with me, okay? When you were little, you had to accept that you couldn't eat your dessert before your dinner. You had to accept that each one of your pets was gonna pass away long before you, leaving you here on earth until your day comes. You had to accept that life isn't fair. Then you got a little bit older. You had to accept that your ex walked away when you were a teenager, but you learned that you're better off without them. You had to accept that some of your friends that you thought were great friends were really never actually your friends at all. And then, as you grew into a young adult, you had to accept the hard things, like the fact that there are people starving in this world while we have an overabundance of food. It's not cool. You had to accept that we send our soldiers away, they leave their families behind, sometimes for good, over the arguments of petty men. And you had to accept that the world is a hard place to be sometimes. So really, when you think about it, Finding out that your parents are swingers and needing to accept that really isn't that hard, okay? You've accepted much harder things throughout your life. It's really no different than having walked in on them as a child while they were getting busy or finding a toy box in their room when you were snooping through their stuff. I mean, have any of you guys ever found your mom's lingerie and thought to yourself, ew, gross? <laughs> okay, that's a natural reaction. Nobody wants to think of their parents as sexual creatures, but there is a reason you're on this planet, isn't there? Now, let me ask you a question. Do your parents have a good relationship? Are they happy? That's really all that matters. I suggest moving on and focusing on yourself, especially since at 22 years of age, there's still so much that you have to discover about yourself. Let your parents live their lives the way that they want to, Okay, I know it might be hard, okay, because we want to control everything those around us do. But just take a deep breath and know it has nothing to do with you, and that's okay. All right, you guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up for me, and then subscribe to the channel so that you can join me back here for another lifestyle discussion right here on Just in Progress. And until next time, you guys, I'll see you soon.